Good evening, and welcome back to Big Farm. I'm Modi Apparatus. We're back at Applebaum and Associates, and we got some unfortunate news for our playthrough here. Uh, we were doing things very, very wrong from the very beginning here. In the comment section for episode one, uh, one of my commenters, Lightning Dragon, pointed out that actually I can actually move things instead of deleting them, which would have saved us a ton of money had we known that from the outset. So all we need to do is double click, and there it is. You saw the magic right there. We could have been doing that the entire time. So much wasted cash. Uh, let's get back on track here. Let's take a look and see. Let's get let's just address a little state of the company kind of thing. As CEO, it's occasionally called upon. First of all, we need to like present some remorse for all of the money we've wasted and make sure we get the CFO back on our side here. But uh, hopefully he forgives us. We can keep our job as CEO here. Or at least Leonard can. Leonard, I'm looking, I'm trying to do my best for you here. But uh, you know what? We don't know these things. So we have uh, Applebaum Brangelina. Brand, Brand Angelina Lena. That's right, it was. That's what I still, still a little bit clunky. We uh, moved it from the process a little bit here before, trying to increase the output by getting a second one of these on there. And something we did to it caused it to be less valuable. But as you can see, the profits have decreased on that just a little bit. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's, it's still the same current value as the problem, though. Whatever we did to it, uh, it didn't. So we moved it up by one point of a. Uh, yeah, we moved it up by one point of concentration and it didn't provide any more money than what we already had. So whatever process we were doing there, we could probably take away and it'll be just fine. Um, we also need to look at tier three. We also need to look at, uh, you, know, you know, one thing that's missing is we had a little event up here and now it's gone. Unfortunately, I don't know. We should have clicked that before that we signed off last time, but now we're missing out on whatever that was going to be. Um, it was research done, maybe? Yeah, it is research done. Okay, so we got advanced processing. The autoclave is one of the things we can do next. Um, one of the things I think we should start looking at, too, is... Uh, we could do this, too. This is going to give us the analyzer. This Basically, the analyzer will tell us what the best concentration is for a particular drug to maximize the profit, I think. Um, so it's something you can just throw onto your processes anywhere you want it and you can just take one of the drugs out and test it and then you can uh, see where you're lying as far as uh, how good it's doing. Um, so maybe we want to research that. It takes us, we can take two for this to get here. I think let's do that because we have three guys. Uh, one will start researching other other uh, upgrades we can get. We would definitely want to get these things upgraded because they're costing us a lot of money this way. If we can get this one boosted up. It'll get uh, six ex three extra more bucks per, uh, per pill, which would be great. Let's go take a look and see what else we can do to try to increase profits here. Um, so we had this split off and we had two two uh, machines here, for one for hypertension and one for angina. They're all both going to the same exit. Now that we know that we can move things though, I think what we're gonna do is put it so it's going into here. And we're gonna put it like so. And we're gonna delete this here. Or we're gonna ring it around here like this and then down through here like this. So put that in there like that. Okay, that's gonna help us speed this along a little bit more. Don't have a little gap right there. Now it's not gonna get any better than 15 per day still, but at least we'll be getting 15 per day for everything. Right now we're getting 15 for some things, eight for some things. Uh, you know, you know, flow bag it doesn't do too badly for us. It is 57 profit only, but um, yeah. Okay, let's start production back up here again. Let's see how things are running. Make sure this is running smoothly. Uh, we have our our uh, femo drone. Femo drone over here, working kind of nicely, it causes headaches still. Um, we can't remove causes headaches. Wow, oh, that's a side effect we can't actually remove. So that's the reason to upgrade this one. Um, we need to get a lot in order to do that one though. Uh, when we try to do the upgrade to ED, also we'll try to add on another section to the, the area here. We have all this area over here, which is pretty much useless though. Um, but uh, once we add on this, Maybe we can find a use for it after all. Okay, so this is still going in and our profit right now is 137. It's pretty good. Um, it doesn't have the side effect on it because it doesn't. Uh, yeah, okay. It's below the side effect though, which is nice. So there's no there's no side effect of that one, which is cool. Uh, for female contraception, we need to get it down to actually we could try to do that. And that's going to add some more money on. But if we drop it three places, we can get rid of the causes headaches and it'll still provide the female contraception trait. Um, and that might make it a better drug. Right now it's a D, so it's getting a negative value. Okay, let's take a look at our production for that. Uh, what we would need to do is, so right now it's getting, it's getting uh, increased, or it's decreased by 
three and then decreased by three and then decreased by three again and then it's getting printed so if we do one more negative three that should get rid of the causes headaches uh, trait so we'll need one more now it's a, it's a question is the ionizer costs 29 to run it is it going to provide 29 dollars worth of value per turn is the question uh let's pause this so we don't waste anything here decreases the concentration by three let's take a look here quick and how difficult this will be uh okay we need to do it like this take this one out take this one out okay so what we're gonna do is do it like this so that we're not causing any kind of uh interruption to our processes here that way we'll have one we'll have a test drug here and if this doesn't work we'll just move this one off and use it for something else but uh, i don't want to break our drug until that point because if it doesn't work i don't want to waste this one um it's going not going this direction though why is that well, let's see what's going on here hmm maybe it needs to take this one out sometimes it's a little finicky These are a little finicky sometimes. All right, let's see if this drug is any better. We can fix it afterwards. Even if this doesn't work, we can, we can find a way to fix it. Okay, so we have uh, Halt a Prey. <laughs> That's pretty clever. Uh, Apple Bomb. What if we just call it? What if we get rid of the Apple Bomb and just have, have the fem, Femo Drone uh, Prego away? I don't know. That, that, this is too Femo Drone Plus. That, that's safer for me. Um, let's do uh, Apple. Apple, Apple Brom? Apple Bomb. Femo Drone. Free. That's, that's, you use free branding and that kind of thing to like show you're like free of headaches. You're free to enjoy your life and that kind of thing. Uh, that's his, that's his, that's his branding. Um, so now we have this Femo Drone free. No headaches caused. Down to 118 bucks. Not worth it. Costs an extra 26 bucks per process. Gets an extra. 12? No, less than that. Uh, why can't that math very good? No, that's, that, is, that is that is six, that's 15. All right, so plus five would be 98, plus 10 is 308, yeah. So if plus 15, but we get $26 less. So basically we're just taking less money to make it, um, you know, call, not cause headaches. I don't know, people should value that a little more. We did boost the drug back up, so there's no bonus on it anymore. But well, there's no there's no value decrease but even with the value decrease this was still making more money so maybe we want to go back to the old ways because it's all about revenue not about profit here um and it's not generating more revenue so there's no point to it current profit is 118 on it yeah i don't think it's gonna be worth it so we'll take this out clear these out and go back to the old ways and that's just fine you know sometimes things don't work we try them out put this over here in the corner We'll let uh, Clark over here just sit there and just press buttons on this thing here. I don't think it's going to cost us anything to run this thing while it's not producing anything. Yeah, he's just going to sit there and pretend to work. Oh, he's not actually doing anything, though. Thanks a lot, Clark. Okay, so let's get back on this track here for uh, Femo Drone. Yeah, Femo Drone is back to causing headaches. It's back to being a D, but it's earning us more money overall. And that's fine. That's fine. Our current profit is pretty good. Our ARPing margin is pretty good. See, ARP rating? Operating margin is pretty good. There's about the same actually. Wow, we're doing pretty good here. Yeah, once we stop spending so much capital, we'll have plenty of money on the hand too. But uh, yeah, as I say, it costs, takes money to make money, as we know. All right, so let's take a look and see cures now. The next level for its angina is stroke risk. We need the autoclave for that, or we need the agglomerator for the catalyst. And having the catalyst is going to require. Oh boy, there's a lot of research we need to get to tier three here gonna require the shaker the multi-mixer not the analyzer but we might need that too other thing we could do is research the creamer this is gonna do and reduces the strength of side effects and drugs has a low process time uh it's gonna make a cream instead of a pill interesting uh cost i don't know what the cost on it is but we could research that if we wanted to all right so what we'll do first of all is up this grade our pill printer here and then we want to get the creamer on hand all right, let's do that. I don't know what's gonna cost us uh, to make to do it this way, and it's, it's, it has a low process time. But will cream sell that much better than pills? Is the question. Um, let's see. What I mean, what drug would be the best to have for a cream? Is the question here. We have uh, 
we have our our anginic anginic cream. I don't think that's gonna work quite right. And femo drove femo drove hypertension cream. I don't think that's gonna work either. So nothing we really have is gonna necessitate necessitate necess, necessitate that. Uh, let's re, let's reassign these guys here. Let's put them on. I do that. We do this. Let's put them on the multi mixer. There we go. All right. Back to production then. Uh, we'll research that instead because that's something we're gonna definitely need to get the drug right for uh, the next stage here. And then we'll need another ingredient. Now, I think the only thing we can really do right now is just inter introduce the uh, spotted nipple wart um, from the forest here. It is a body response medication. I don't know what that exactly means. I don't know what body response means, but we're gonna research it. Cause it's possible that it has a side effect that'll have a catalyst on it and we'll find out. Um, did our, our competitors bring that to market yet? It did get eases migraine and treats diabetes, so they did research something here. Uh, I wonder if that's what this is. The next level here, that's probably what it is. Body response is probably, yeah, that's probably what it is. It's the, uh, it's the diabetes medicine. Unless it's something else. Let's take a look here quick. Is diabetes cures? Body response treats diabetes. Yep, okay, so that's the next level here. Um, so that'll be treats diabetes, and it looks like compared to our company, our competitors here, already have uh ooh, dust cloud is starting to clear number of coughs and asthma is attacks that are doing it doors to normal and our competitor came up with the migraine stopper all right so that eases migraine um i can't see what this research is that's a c plus one though this is a d minus so it's actually not gonna earn much money but this one's pretty valuable 276 pretty good ours is better though we have the one thing they don't which is the uh the female contraceptive and they do not and that's worth a lot more money if we could get the process on that down, um, I don't know how we're actually going to do that. It's going to be so expensive to, to get that down, and really, I don't know if there's a way we can actually get it down. Multi mixer is going to help. As the cures and side effects of one ingredient to another, cures and side effects in the base ingredient will displace those of the other ingredient. Yeah, that's just going to combine two ingredients together. So we can actually make a female contraceptive with angina. I don't know. Why, why would we want that? Maybe if we have something that combines together, we could we might be able to do that. Um, the trick with this is, is that you can see that there's different lines for each drug here. So there's line two and line four here. Whereas on here, it's line three and four. So basically with the mixer, you can't have two things uh, line up against each other. Um, they won't mix together if you have things in the same spot. Now, if they're staggered, then you can have, have, they can have that work. Um, or you can, or it basically overwrites the one with the other. So right now, well, we'll show that when we get to it, but basically you can toggle which one overwrites what. Um, so we could overwrite headaches with something else. Uh, blood pressure, for instance, or, um, we could add hypertension relief to the female contraceptive. We could add, mm, I don't know what else we could do. But, uh, yeah, maybe we just need to research that, research that ingredients, find out what else we can do with that, um, diabetes stuff here. And then uh, we can also start researching some uh, upgrade points here for our our ingredients so that they are a little bit cheaper to make. This will get a 10% reduction. Actually, that would be pretty huge here. That's four bucks on this one, right? Uh, whereas this one is be three bucks. So that's this is this is actually a pretty good thing to research, I think, pretty soon here. So we'll do that next. And then we also have this other wing here we can add on. How's our profits doing right now? 41% profit margin, more operating margin. That's good. And uh, profit is uh, high. Let's take a look at our objectives here, where we're at. We're still right on schedule, basically, for the most part. But yeah, hitting that master rank is gonna be tough. I really don't think we'll be able to do that, especially with our wasted time here. In the first couple episodes, not knowing we can not delete things, we probably would've done a lot better had that not been the case. Anything else we can do here right now to increase the process? And now we could try to eliminate side effects, but that was one of the things I noticed with this is that it doesn't provide that much of a benefit. And basically, it just makes the, make the make the drug the simplest way possible is the best way to make money because these machines cost so much um, that the gains you get are not uh, not good enough. So, do we have this as simple as it can be? Yeah, we do actually. It gets down three. It gets down three. And right now, given the research here, what's it cost us per operation for the evaporator? It costs us nine, ten dollars per rank on the evaporator, and 30, 20, or yeah, thirty-two on this one. So nine. So this accounts for three of those. So nine times three would be, or ten times three would be thirty. 
So it's only two, it says two dollars more. So actually, it'd be cheaper to do more evaporators than one of these. And actually, actually, when you really look at it, it's cheaper to buy three evaporators than it is to buy one of those things too, because those are two thousand, and the evaporators and that kind of thing are only six hundred each. So that's one way we could save some money. If we really wanted to maximize profits on these things, we would switch these all out for dozens and dozens of uh, these dissolvers here. We could try it, um, but not without interrupting our entire thing here. All right, so we got the multi-mixer. Let's go research some more here and see. Okay, so we can upgrade the evaporators. How many evaporators are we using right now? Two, three, so upgrading a couple bucks is gonna save us. Oop, new ingredients discovered, okay, cool. African wood snake car shavings, uh, causes constipation, prompts sleepiness, treats diabetes. Okay, so this actually doesn't have any of the side effects we're looking for. Um, in order to remove these side effects, we would need to uh, get it to 14 to 19. Right now we need to bring it down by one. In order to cure cures hyperthyroidism, it's a, uh, brings it up to, we have to bring it up to 10, 12. Um, that's a cure though. That's, I think it's our first cure. A lot of these are just treating, treating symptoms, but this is the first cure I think we've encountered. Uh, can we see what this is again? Here, get this out of the way. So let's see what the biggest market's gonna be. Removed wards is actually the biggest market of the group here. Actually, female contraception is a pretty decent market too. Especially with the value on there, so maybe we could figure out a way to make that the most profitable possible. It's going to require quite a lot of capital expenditure to get to that point, though. So let's see. We need one ionizer to upgrade the drug, because this is the point where it... No, wait. It doesn't use it right here. So it takes it down to remove wards. Nope. And then it goes through the ionizer here. And that changes it from removes wards to female contraception. And then... Let's pause here quick. If we were to do... We would need one, two, three, four, five, six dissolvers let's 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 just try this out here quick let's just grab one to measure so if we go right here we go one two three four five six completely feasible what's it gonna cost us it's a nine dollar operation per operation Six hundred dollars per thing. We need six of them. It's gonna cost us thirty-six hundred, whereas one of these costs us twenty-two hundred. Oh wow, are these more expensive now that we've upgraded the pricing on it? I thought they were two thousand before. All right, so what we'll do? It should be the same drug in the end of the day here. Let's take these out, and we'll leave that where it is for now. We won't need to worry about that. Okay, so let's go to dissolvers. Let's see if we can really maximize the profit on this here. One, two, three, four. Bring this over here for now. And we'll go, uh, five, six, and we'll reach over here. So we'll go one, two, Oh, that's not right. We screwed that one up. I was like, what are we doing here? All right. So it comes in through here. That's the problem. From the outset, we did it wrong. All right. So then we go out through here, 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 and then through that. All right. And that should bring it down. So let's test it out here just quick and see what it's going to take. This might slow down production because it has to go through all these machines. If these machines each take longer, we might produce less stuff. So, okay. Let's take a look here quick and see if we can watch the turns on this one. So that's in for one. Out. One. Out. Yeah, so it's just one turn for each of these things. So it doesn't really take any more space than uh, the ionizer, I think, to the same exact uh, method here, too. Yeah, that was my big concern is just having, having enough uh, timing on this stuff here. That's going to be a minute for the money to get back over here, though. And something happened with our market. What is it going to be? Demand for male contraception is growing, but women or women are starting to worry about the possible side effects of long-term use of hormonal con contraception. Male contraception is a much less invasive procedure. Man, many couples are demanding this approach be more readily available. 
So what does that mean for my whole operation right here that I just spent so much money developing and designing to maximize profits? It means demand is going to go way, way down. <sighs> Unfortunate. Now, this should be the same exact drug here, Femo Drone, at the end of the day here. Let's take a look here quick and see. Yes, it is. Oxylic concentration. Same drug, different process, same drug. Very good, very good. Okay. So that should take it in now, and let's see what the profits are going to be now. And Femo Drone profits went. They're, they're five, five per month right now. Six. I don't know. I don't know what they were before. Oh, God, I should pay more attention to that. Uh, the. I think it was more. I think it's more now. Well, luckily, we can't compare it to anything. Processing for it's 121. Before it was costing us uh, 29. So 30, 30, 30 was 90 for that alone. Plus 20 for this. Plus what's over here. I think it was probably more expensive before. So now it's a little bit cheaper to, to, to do the operation. Takes up more space, takes up more valuable floor space. But we actually have a lot right now. So that's not the end of the world. Plus it looks kind of cool. The way, the way it runs in and out like that. So next we want to, uh, let's make sure this is still good. Yeah. We can't remove that. Interesting. So I guess the probably the spot to put it would be like right there where it doesn't cost headaches anymore. We could do one of these at the end. Since I already have it, it's going to cost us 29 preparations. That adds add a little cost to the uh, operation though, and probably not for much gain. Never seems to, never seems to. So I think it's the maximum profit we can possibly get for Femo Drone uh, right now. Now, if we wanted to upgrade this, we need to take it into the agglomerator after getting it together with the catalyst. That means we have to build a shaker. That means we need to build a... We have to find the right ingredient, too. If we didn't even think about that. Oh, we did get this, though. Let's upgrade that. The cost is now 41. 40? Oh, nice. Okay, so the cost is now to, to, to 40 for this one. And maybe that has to do with the saturation. The cost on this goes up and down. Oh, over time, probably. Oh, this is the price. I get it. Right now it's trading at $40. Okay. We're getting a 10% discount on each one, so that's actually not reflected here, I think. It's reflected when we import it, possibly. We could also look at treats diabetes. This is a $104 uh, thing here. And let's take a look at cures here, quick. The next level up is cures hypothyroidism for, one, for $274. Is that going to be tough to get to, is the question. Where it starts is at 6. We need to get it down to up to 10. Oh, God, it's going to be tough. We would need an evaporator. We need uh, another uh, agglomerator. That'll bring it up to 10. And then it needs an ionizer to bring it back down to 9. 8. 7. 7. Uh, okay. All right. Well, we can do that if we wanted to. It's going to be, I don't know, it's, if it's better to diversify or just double down and get more stuff imported because uh, we could actually, one way we could get our goal here is by upgrading one ingredient only and uh, focusing on just that as far as production goes. If we want to just only do the hypertension path. Um, let's take a look again at the cures here. What do we need for that one? We need the autoclave, right? So to get to stroke risk, we need the we need 9 to 14 and we need the autoclave. And for treats angina, it is uh, between 0 and 6. Is that right? So it's pretty low. No, it's at 7. So it needs a lot, but yeah, could do it. These decrease concentration. So we need, we need the opposite of those. The agglomerators what we need. Basically, what I would do here how would I do this? I would move this down by one to here. So it's going to have this little hook into there. Then I would have a branch coming off of here. It's already busted up to seven here. I would start working its way over this direction and bring it out over here, probably. All right, I think we probably have to do it. We need the autoclave first or not? Cures. We just need the, oh yeah, we do need the autoclave. Okay, let's take a look here quick and how far we are away from research for that. Oh, wow, we have so many points. Okay, we can really upgrade these things now. So if we upgrade our dissolvers, wow, that's gonna save us a lot of money. So now it's down to six. So that's actually gonna save us tons. 
Uh, and then we can actually upgrade this for four points. What else do we use a lot of? We have ionizers mostly, so let's upgrade those too. All right, cool. So it's down to 23 for this and $6 or five, seven dollars for operation now. So that should boost the profits for over here. And, uh, oh, because Phenodrome is actually being competing with uh, male contraception right now. Um, so it's not doing that well. But we did improve the process profits on everything here now, and that should boost the profits overall. See, we're back on pace here. It's 255, 255,000. Okay, very good. I think it's going to do it for this episode of Big Pharma. I'll be back for another episode very soon. We'll get some more research done. We'll get some more ingredients research here soon. And uh, maybe start making some diabetes medicine. Maybe start doing, uh, look for this uh, pain. Oh, this is a catalyst on us. This could be what we're looking for here. Uh, let's let's actually hire him now and send him off to work to that. And then uh, we'll save the upgrade for later here. Anyways, I've been Modi. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back for another episode very, very soon. I hope you're enjoying the series. And I'll see you guys back next time for more. Have a good night.